What is going on guys? This is Noah with Northern Scavenger and welcome to this week's video. A couple weeks ago I filmed a video of me snorkeling on the south shore of Nova Scotia looking for scallops. I did not find any scallops but I had a great time looking around at all the lobsters and sea creatures and sea life that are down there. Let's address the white elephant in the room. This is not a dungeon. This is actually my basement in my house and I use this as a staging area. I've been thinking about getting back out there ever since I went out. And thanks to you guys, you gave me a lot of great tips on where to actually find scallops. So this video is a scallop redemption. I'm heading back out with my friend Kyle, who you guys might remember from an old video. We ran the Bangs Falls whitewater event here in Nova Scotia, where we used a Radisson canoe. We ended up sinking it. And you know how the saying goes, if you sink a canoe with someone, you guys remain friends. So in this video, we head back out looking for scallops in a new spot, new opportunities, and I'm excited to share this one with you. All right, we just got to our spot here, and from what I've learned from you guys is scallops like a silty sandy bottom with a current, and we found this spot that has all the right conditions. We're very optimistic that this is gonna be the spot. Uh, Kyle's already in the water. I just got my wetsuit on, already soaking wet with sweat. I'm about to join him. Let's see if we can get him. Here's the belt I use for work. A little makeshift weight belt. I used my only work belt. I sacrificed it to the ocean gods to make this video and to try to get some scallops. All right, five pounds heavier. Let's do this. I came across this jelly-filled pumpkin-looking thing that was attached to this rock. I tried doing a little research to figure out what this was. Not too sure, but if you guys know, please comment below. Every time I dive, it seems like there's a whole new terrain down there, and there's a different abundant sea creature. This time, I found a lot of these northern sea stars. From my research and from you guys, I learned that scallops like a silty sandy bottom with eelgrass. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Very optimistic, it's just a matter of time. You guys know how I like to catch that majestic casual B-roll. Look at that kelp just dance in the water. I almost forgot we were scallop diving and I got lost in nature. I spotted the shell in the ocean floor. To my surprise, when I opened it up, there was a purple sea star inside. You got one too? Right, I got a shell, but look what's inside the shell. Oh, that's cool. What's this at? Hell yeah. First scallop. That's awesome. Where was it? In here? In the, in the uh, sea grass? Yeah. Huh. I got a bag on me. Yeah, take Just like that, we're on him. <laughs> Once we found the bed, 
They were everywhere. And we got really good at finding them. We found a lot of them were hiding below the seagrass. If you look close enough, they look like a white wallet. Not only did we find a lot of scallops, there were also a lot of scallop shells. Sometimes we got tricked. When you're scallop diving in Nova Scotia, it's very important to be familiar with the regulations because across Nova Scotia, there are different size limits as well as different seasons. Where we were, the size limit was 10 millimeters. That is about the size of my palm of my hand. So if it's anything smaller than my palm, I know that it's too small to harvest. This one's probably too small, so I'm gonna put it back. In Nova Scotia, the bag limit per day is 100 scallops. It's very important to snorkel and harvest them sustainably. You don't want to wipe out an entire bed. We left a lot of scallops there, and we did not take our maximum bag limit. What do we got here? We got a bag. Beautiful. Scallops. I think we're gonna try a raw one. Apparently you can do that. I'm not sure how to cut it. Oh my God, I can see the muscle. Look at that. I don't wanna put don't my finger, see finger in there. Off the side of the shell. Right, like that. And, and it that. opens up. I'm not sure what, what tool would be best for you. You got a longer, what's that? And that's a fillet knife? Yeah. It's probably gonna dull your blade, whatever we do. Oh, whatever. You didn't like that, eh? No. Open it now. Woohoo! There's the skull up right there. This guy. The adductor muscle. And then I go like this, I guess. And some people eat the roe, but in Nova Scotia, it is illegal to eat the roe. Really? For some reason. Go for it. Hey, you eat that one. I eat this one. Wow, it's sweet. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. It's good. <laughs> really good. That is so good. Yeah, man. It's totally different, eh? I was expecting it to be chewy. It's like it just melts in your mouth. Oh my god. I've never had a raw scallop before. We got in here. Scallops and pops. So, there's two sides. There's the bigger side and the flatter side. And the abductor, what I need to cut is the flatter side. So, and at the back here, there's a little opening. You won't get the knife through the front. He just tightens up real tight. 
but through the back there's a little opening. You get the knife in there and kind of work along. You're trying to bend it a bit so it, it's staying as close to the, the abductor as I can. And you'll feel it as soon as I get it. I can, yeah, I can then kind of open it and then really just scrape along. There. And there's a little left, you can scrape that off. And there is the abductor in there, and then no one will come in and clean it. So once you get to this situation, I come in with this knife and pull off the apron just so we get the abductor muscle, which looks like this, which you can see in the, in the stores. Keeping it simple, a little butter and garlic, cook them right in the shell or in the barbecue. like a Vietnamese fish sauce. The other ones will do it in a minute. The ones in the middle are cooking fast. Oh man. <laughs> so good. It's like sweet. Wow. It tastes always tastes better when you get it yourself too. Yeah. Yeah. No more filming, time to eat.